Okay, so now uh, what we have uh, or what you should have already is uh, these uh, shapes created as, as I indicated before. Okay, so remember we have a base, the front, two arms, but right now they are these parts here, so they are different uh, uh, objects. Okay, and if you run the simulation indeed, this is something we haven't uh, done before, but if you run the simulation, you will see that obviously this is not working yet and it will fall apart, okay? So if you play click, it will fall apart, okay? But most importantly, the, uh, for instance, the base and the front, they are supposed to be attached as well as this part, these two parts here are supposed to be the same component or the same object and these three here in the caster wheel, the one on top and the, one, the two on the sides, are supposed to be the same um, object. So, what we have to do is to group them, okay? So in order to not to fall apart, because they are respondable objects and if they are individual objects, they will respond one against each other. And we don't want that, we would like to be just one single solid, okay? So in order, in order to do that, we select the base, we click shift, we select the front, we have both objects, we could do the same here, okay? And we right click, and go for edit, grouping, and then we have group selected shapes. And you will see that now we have one single shape which is front, and well we, we can change the name for that to robot. And that's that shape here, it's one single object. Indeed, if I run the simulation again, you will see that compared to the previous simulation, these two objects right now stay together, okay? So we can do the same thing with uh, this object here and this object here, so we can group them, again edit, group merging, group selected shape and this is uh, the new object and now if we play simulation, you will see that these two objects stay together, okay? And uh, yeah, you have to do that with the other arm, we have to do that with the caster wheel and in addition to that, also, in particular, we have to edit some of the dynamic properties of the object, particularly the wheels, okay? So if, we, if you access to the wheel properties, the dynamic properties here, yeah, the, in order to make the, uh, the simulation more realistic, we need to edit uh, the type of material, so we uh, especially added some of the coefficients that are uh, related with the friction uh, against the floor. So we can do that by just simply editing the material and apply some of the predefined settings we have here, like high friction material. This is something which is convenient in order that uh, our simulation is more realistic whenever we assemble everything together, okay? So we have to do that with uh, that wheel, uh, the left wheel as well, and also the caster wheel. So the wheels in the uh, contact in the ground, they need to be, or they need to have a high friction material. Okay, thank you very much.